Hey guys, before we get started, I want to give a shout out to my latest patron over on Patreon. I am a bit scared to try to pronounce that name, though I'm sure I'll butcher it. But I will leave a link to his YouTube channel down in the description below and a link to his QRZ page. Check those out. Welcome back, guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. I wanted to take a look today at another really, really cool feature in JS8 Call, and that's the ability to send a text message to a regular mobile device. I want to go over two ways to do this. First, we'll do it the hard way, and then we'll install a script that'll make it a ton easier for us. All right, so let's jump right into it. I'm going to open up JS8 Call, and right here in the outgoing message box, I'm going to type at all call, give it a space, APRS, and two colons. Following the two colons will be SMS, GTE, and three spaces. So one, two, three, and then another colon. Okay, now the spaces here are critical. This, between the, between the double colons here and the colon here, has to total nine characters, including the spaces. So because of that nine character uh, requirement, that's why we put the three spaces in there. All right, beyond that, we'll say at, and we would give it a phone number right here. So 615-555-1234. We'll give it a space and then the actual message. So this is the body. All right, and then we would go ahead and click the send button and that would send it out for us. Uh, and then anybody that was uh, capable of spotting to the APRS uh, network that heard our message would go ahead and forward that into the network and it would get delivered. So that's one way of doing it. But it can be a bit difficult to remember the exact syntax that you need to use. So let's take a look at another way of doing this. Before we move over to installing the script, we do need to check a couple of settings in JS8. So we'll come up to File and Settings, and let's click on the Reporting tab. And let's make sure that all three of these checkboxes here are checked. And once that's done, go ahead and hit OK. All right, so the first thing we need to do is come over to this uh, website here. And I'll leave a link to this down in the description below. Hey, while I'm thinking about it, I got to give a shout out to Jerry, K7AZJ. He was the one that originally wrote this script. I just came in and modded it to work a little bit differently. All right, so once you come to this website here, we're going to come over to the raw button. We're going to right click on it and come down to copy the link address. And now let's head over to the terminal window. All right, inside of our terminal window, let's go ahead and move to the downloads directory with cd space downloads. And then let's use the wget command. So wget, and then we're going to right click and paste in that link that we just copied from the website. Go ahead and press return. Our next command will be sudo chmod plus x js8 sms. And the last command that we need to get this working for us is sudo mv, that's Mike Victor, uh, that's for the move, js8sms forward slash user usr forward slash local forward slash bin forward slash. Go ahead and hit the return key and that'll move it to the proper folder. So let's just clear the screen out. All right, and now to run the script, we'll just issue the command JS8SMS and hit the return key. So the first thing it's going to ask is uh, the telephone number of who you want to send the text to. Now, in this case, I'm actually going to use a shortcut. Uh, if you want to know more about shortcuts, you can come over to this website here, and I'll leave a link to that down in the description below. Okay, so after giving it the telephone number, we'll go ahead and hit the return. And then it says, what do you want this text to say? After you put in the body of your text, go ahead and hit return again. And give it just a couple of seconds while it completes. 
All right, once it completes, you'll get this message here that tells you it's ready to be, uh, that your message is ready to be sent, and you need to go to JS8 and press the send button. So we'll go ahead and jump back over to the JS8 software, and you'll see our message is sitting here in the outbox ready to go. So we'll just press the send button and go ahead and send out that text message. Now the only downside to using this is there's no confirmation that the message was actually delivered. So you kind of just have to uh, more or less hope that propagation is good and that somebody out there heard your message that you were sending out and has spotting enabled. And here's a copy of the message as it was received. It took it about 45 seconds to come through to my phone. Okay, guys, well, there's a couple of different ways to send text messages with JS8 Call. If you can remember the syntax, then you can just type it in at any time. To make it easy on yourself, you can go ahead and download that script and install it. As always, I want to say thank you for watching the channel and supporting us, and we will see you guys on the next video. 7-3.